I'm here to visit someone who my grandma used to help out a lot, who was part of like in the war. He died. We're just here to pay our respects because his family also passed away and we're very grateful for what he served for our country. To have this wall out here, it, it is, I mean, something major for the valley, for the city, for our region, because you're talking about part of the healing process when people are grieving. And, you know, we have so many families that have disabilities and it's hard for them to travel all the way to Washington, D.C. It's an honor to just be able to come out here and see it and pay respect to all the fallen soldiers who helped fight for us and keep us free. It means a lot to me that their family or friends or close members fought for us and it's sad that they, had, they were hoping for them to come back and knowing that they passed away, they, it, it hurts a lot. And there's a lot of veterans that are here that didn't have that closure. And so to bring this wall to them here, I mean, it's a big value for them because they're able to see a lot of their comrades, friends and family members that, were, that served and didn't come back home. It does heal. Uh, for some people, I believe it opens up some wounds that were in the process of healing. But both good memories and bad memories are good to hold on to. I'm a firm believer of that. To me, to hear the stories that they had to go through to endeavor, to uh, you know, be mistreated coming back home and not be considered heroes. To me, it, it doesn't you know, it doesn't give value you know to what they went through, because to me, every single one gave all, not just give some, but they gave all.